boxing superstar Ryan Garcia has decided to call it quits with what he loves most. Yep, you heard that right. Garcia has officially retired as a pro boxer, and this news has sent everyone into a frenzy. After an impressive win against Devin Haney, a guy who was considered to be the best in the scene, retirement should be the last thing on Ryan's mind. But hey, since Garcia got busted for taking illegal supplements, that's gonna shake things up for sure. And with all the controversy surrounding Ryan Garcia's name, he's decided it's in his best interest to hang the gloves up for good. Now this surprising news has attracted many reactions from boxing professionals, including the one and only Floyd Mayweather. Yep, Money Mayweather weighed in on this situation, and it's something you can't miss out on. I know you're bursting with questions, so watch this video where I'll answer them all. Garcia dropped a bombshell on the internet when he tweeted this. Y'all may catch me out and about, but as far as boxing, I don't know. There is so much corruption, I'm over it. I may do acting or singing, I'll still be training, but I'm hurt and done with it, and everyone. The sad part is, I'm a great boxer and I entertain and knock people out. I'm sad BC, I love boxing. Praying for everyone, and I hope everyone has a great life. Now this tweet raised concerns regarding where Garcia stands with this sport. However, things got much clearer when he tweeted this. I'm officially retired. Now that's about as clear cut as it gets. You heard the man, it's official. Now, if you're a fan of Floyd Mayweather, you know he likes to be a part of everything and make everything about himself. Well, that's just how he operates. So when news like this surfaced on the internet, it was pretty much obvious he was going to have a lot to say. And not to mention Garcia and Floyd had joined forces as they were spotted going on runs together, watching games and even training together. Not only this, but Floyd advised Ryan to come in overweight for his super fight with Devin Haney. However, it all went out the window when Ryan got exposed for taking PEDs. As soon as Floyd heard about it, it was bye-bye Ryan Garcia. Because the last thing you want is to end up on the dark side of this sport. And this is one of the many reasons why Ryan is closing the chapter on his boxing career. Yep, there are more. But before we get into that, let's see where Money Mayweather stands. Now we know this legend has been on a vacation to Dubai, so he hasn't had much time to give his two cents on anything. But this is something Floyd just had to comment on. Mayweather is furious with Ryan Garcia bidding farewell to the boxing world, and there is a huge reason why. Get this, Ryan Garcia has just destroyed Devin Haney, the very same guy who was favored to beat Gervonta Davis in a professional bout. With Haney out of the way, Garcia is now one of the top contenders. Besides Shakur Stevenson, Ryan Garcia is the best shot at taking down Tank Davis right now. And at the end of the day, that's all that Floyd wants. Money wants to see Tank fall off. We know these two have an endless rivalry, and the only way it ends is with Gravana Davis taking a loss. Once that happens, the debate on who's better will be settled since Floyd is 50-0 and Ryan Garcia was Floyd's ace until he decided to retire. And let's not forget Floyd tried to do the same thing with Frank Martin. Yep, that's right. Money Mayweather was in Martin's corner, training him and sharing his insider tips on how to take down Gervonta Davis. And because of his expertise, Martin kept the fight close until he went headfirst to the canvas in the eighth round. And Tank Davis knew about this master plan all along. You know, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. But I knew for sure that wasn't going to be enough to beat me. It's cool. It's, it's all right. You know? I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, he's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll pitch him bad situations. Martin could not get the job done and the one person who can has left his job. Ryan Garcia has been on quite a roller coaster. He had the whole Osterine contamination scandal hanging over him. Then there was the issue of not getting paid by Oscar for his bout with Haney. And to top it all off, he recently got into a brawl with Caleb Plant. Yep, you heard that right. 
Both guys showed up to see the action between Tank and Martin, but ended up having some action of their own during the event. But what has truly pushed Ryan Garcia into retirement is the ban he's facing. Yep, the jury is out. Boxer Ryan Garcia has been suspended until April 2025 for testing positive for a banned substance and will forfeit his purse from his fight against Devin Haney as part of a settlement with the New York State Athletic Commission. Yes, we're looking at a year-long ban, and not to mention they ruled the fight a no contest. Let's just Ryan Garcia isn't too happy about it. Especially when you have guys like Bill Haney rubbing salt in the wound. Devin Haney, the guy who took an embarrassing beatdown, showed his gratitude when this news surfaced on the internet. Boxing superstar Shakur Stevenson had a jaw-dropping take on the situation. He insists that Ryan Garcia's suspension should be longer than a year. Shakur believes that such a short ban could send the wrong message, potentially encouraging other fighters to take similar breaks in return without facing adequate consequences. I feel as though one year ain't really nothing. I feel like that's like some quick shit. And I feel as though like, it ain't setting a good example giving somebody like a year after something like that just because of the fact that um we got we got other fighters to come and if they feel as though they only gonna get a year time for cheating and uh I feel as though um that's not fair. I think a lot of people are gonna start doing it too. Eddie Hearn also gave his two cents on this hot topic, and it's something you wouldn't want to miss out on. First things first is good in terms of the speed that the New York State Athletic Commission have dealt with it. Again, this is only my opinion. When you kind of accept guilt behind closed doors to do a deal, things can get wrapped up a lot quicker. I think it's a smart thing to do because I don't think they wanted to really battle the case or prove their innocence, really. So it's a year, it's really not that long a time. My worry more is what happens during that year to Ryan Garcia. Um, no contest, 100% of the right decisions, that's great for Devin. But Devin still has to put up with the ghosts of that night and going through that beating against the man that had performance enhancing drugs in his system. Could have been badly injured in that fight, you know. More importantly, Devin's also looking now going, how do I not get the money? Do you know what I mean? We, we had a fight where we both got paid, you battered me, you had performance enhancing drugs in your system, and your promoter gets given the money. Where's mine? Do you know what I mean? He's got, and he's dead right. Raleigh Romer, another great name in the fight industry, gave his honest thoughts on the Ryan situation. Ryan Garcia got a, a one-year suspension ban. He got to pay like a million fine, the Golden Boy, 10K, to NYC. What's your thoughts on the whole situation? Why is the fine, wait, 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 the fine going to Golden Boy? I think so. Like he, it, it, like he has to find. Uh, well, 10k to New York Athletic Commission, which is like small like, compared to the big. But yeah, 1.2 goes to Golden Boy. So it doesn't go to the fighter that that got damaged. No, it doesn't go to Devin. What the fuck's the point of that shit? Now that is a bit fishy. Devin is getting paid nothing. There's a fine involved, but surprisingly, it's not going to the guy who bore the brunt of it all in the ring. If that doesn't strike you as odd. I'm not sure what would. Abraham Nova, gearing up for his fight against Andres Cortez, is rallying behind Ryan Garcia. He's calling foul on what he sees as an excessive fine and an unjust one-year ban. Yeah, my last question is, um, in regards of you know people missing weight, Ryan recently missed weight and had the failed testing, mm -hmm. but they came out, I don't know if you heard, uh, he's gonna be suspended for a year. Do you think mm -hmm. that was the right Disciplinary uh, one year banned, and uh, I think it was like 1.1 million and a 10k fine. No, I definitely do not think that was um, um, that's that that should happen, especially with Ryan. 
he's a great fighter. Never that has never happened to him, and that's a that's a big amount, and that's a long time. And his levels were so low, like I don't think that would have made a difference. So I think it's unfair. But hey, it's boxing. It's the New York State Commission. We have we can't do nothing except you know take what they give us. There are two ways to look at the situation, fair or unfair. But if you're Floyd Money Mayweather, there's only one way. We've got to get Ryan back into the mix. He's still got plenty of fights left in him, especially one against Tank Davis. And you know who's going to be in his corner, backing him every step of the way. This is a challenging time for Ryan, but we all know Floyd doesn't let that phase him. If there's one thing we know about Money Mayweather, it's that he always gets what he wants. When it comes to getting Ryan back in the ring and putting on a show, you better believe Floyd will make it happen. He's not about to let a setback keep Ryan from shining in the spotlight once again, and more importantly, to beat Tank. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.